Greetings, everyone. This is Esther from Jesus is Light.、Um, today, I have another prophetic message. I spent all day with the Lord and He gave me a word for you.、Um, the word for today is God says, I am about to deal with your enemy. Three verses that the Lord gave me today Psalm 75 2. You say, I choose the appointed time. It is I who judge with equity. The Lord gave me three points out of that verse. First is this is the appointed time. This is the season, and this is the season of the appointed time. Second, He is a just God. Third, He is about to judge your enemy with equity. And the second verse the Lord gave me was Psalm 76. Verse 7 to 9. It is you alone who are to be feared. Who can stand before you when you are angry? From heaven you pronounced judgment, and the land feared and was quiet. When you, God, rose up to judge, to save all the afflicted of the land. Out of that verse, th- verse 7 to 9, the Lord gave me three points again. First, God's wrath is on your enemy. This second, this is judgment time. Third, bringing justice to his children who he loves and being afflicted by the enemy. And I just felt the Lord saying,、um, the enemy, of course, is not people, it's spiritual, it's devil, it's demonic spirit. And The devil u s e humans, whoever is not fully surrendered by the Lord or even、um, healed by the Lord. There's rooms you know, for the enemy to influence, or even some, some of them are demon possessed, so they're manifesting and they can attack you and harm the children of God. The children of God. I feel like the Lord just saying that don't、um, hate the people, but. Knowing that you're fighting those principalities in the, in the spiritual realm, the demonic spirits. But the Lord's going to deal with the enemy, which are not people, but then those spirit, demonic spirit, that they're trying to oppress you and stop the call of God or your kingdom assignments, whatever God has chosen you to do. And then right now, I just feel the Lord says that. Um, many of you have been in years and years that struggling, fighting just to be obedient to the Lord. And it's also is a testing season and it's a pruning season and training season that because you're anointed for such a time as this. And I really, really believe in a prophesy the revival, this end time revival, is about to come on the earth very soon. Very soon. And the Lord says He's been preparing. And I believe there are many remnants that who are listening to this message that God's preparing you for this end time revival. For this end time movement of God. And you've been through so much, and the Lord says, Shake it, but sada da da k o y o bo 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 bo. And the Lord gave me Psalm 77 1. I cry out to God for help. I cry out to God to hear me. I, I just hear the Lord says that He's been, He's, He heard your cries. He heard your cries. He sees your tears. And the Lord says, Cry no more. The Lord says, My children, my children, you are the one that's chosen. You are the one that I have anointed you for such a time as this. I have anointed with, with you with oil, with power and authority. The years that you've been going through, those hardship, the Lord says, Yes. It is, although it is from the enemy, 
But like Joseph, Esther, Daniel, David, King David, Apostle Paul, the Lord says, I allowed the enemy to afflict you. I even heard that um, also Job, um, Bible, in the Bible verse, the, um, the character Job, the Lord says, some of you are going through sickness have been going through sickness some of you have been going through financial difficulties some of you have been through going through marital issues and some of you have been going through loss of family members and loved ones and many of you have been separated apart from your friends families um loved ones and you've been in a very lonely season like jesus that he went to this wilderness season. The Lord says many of you have been gone through wilderness season. But the Lord says, well done, my faithful servant. You have been obedient in the season, in the testing season. And those are not months. It's actually years. Not even one year. It's three, five, eight years of the Lord says, following my process and be obedient to my process. Now you have been healed. A lot of you have been healed through wounds and traumas, past traumas. The Lord says, I'm continuing to heal you to make you whole. But the Lord says, I heard your cries and cry no more and rejoice. This is the season that I am about to judge your enemies and you will see my righteous hand upon you and on your life and knowing that I'm a God who is just and I am a God who's about to deal with your enemy and judge your enemy with equity says the Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord for the word um yes um today if for many of you being watching my prof daily prophetic word, um, the Lord told me to release prophetic word, but also use like one or two minutes to pray for the sick. And for the past two days or three days, the Lord gave me like certain sickness, disease to pray for. But today the Lord says, um, no, I want you to prophesy. And I had no word. I, I, it's actually in my notes. I have this. Um, I, I wrote all the notes on my laptop and I put at the bottom after I released the word is prophesy. The Lord told me I will give you the word, but I don't have a word yet. So I was really just trusting the Lord. And I, I thank you, Father, for the right now word and for giving um, the right now word to your children, to the ones that you love. And I really felt the love of the Lord. And the Lord is angry with the enemy he has been but this is the season you see god's hand is going to judge them and bring justice to your life and reward you because for the past two a uh, week a couple of weeks i've been prophesying releasing the word that god's about to promote you when the lord's rewarding you he's on the other hand he's also dealing with the enemy who's been oppressing you and trying to um, push you down. I, I just heard the Lord say, many of you being like looked down upon and nobody sees you. But the Lord says, watch what I'm about to do. Um, thank you, Father. Thank you. Today, This is the word for today. And I feel released. And um, tomorrow is Friday. And um, I will release another prophetic word. God bless you.